Hey everyone, this is Eric with Verse Design, and I'm bringing you episode 7 of my Island Retreat Let's Build a House series. And so yeah, if you've been following up until this point, uh, this is where we left off. We have most of the main floor uh, furnished, but not finished. I guess <laughs> a lot of it is like it has stuff there, I guess, but it's not finished by any means. Uh, one thing that people disliked uh, on YouTube was the kitchen, and I totally disliked it, too. So I don't blame you at all, <laughs> uh, because there is I tend to just like drop things in the game and recolor them and play around with them. And if I don't like feel inspired and if I don't feel like doing it at that particular moment. I'll just move on. So I'm sorry if that's annoying <laughs> being a viewer of the video, just watching me like constantly abandon things and come back to them like an episode or two later. But that's what we, exactly what we did with the kitchen. <laughs> we <laughs> say, sorry about that. So yeah, we come back in and here we are like doing more detail work, I guess, in the kitchen, trying to figure out what kind of like flooring I want to match the cabinets. And I eventually come to the conclusion that this space would be better suited just with all wood because the kitchen and the living room are one room. It's one giant room. So it like makes more sense for the room to just be one floor tile, right? Just wood. So that's what we run with uh, at the end of this video. We play around with a lot of different things. I think that the white cabinets really allow the green cabinets to speak, I guess. <laughs> That's a weird way to vocalize that, I guess. But it really allows the green bench to just be the modern focal point that it should be in the house. So instead of it competing for your attention with the wood and the stone and all of the other stuff, your eye can rest on the green because the rest of the room is white. Your eye's not constantly moving to these different colors and textures. So... I think the kitchen ends up looking better at the end of the video than it has so far, but we are still, again, going to need to come in and do a lot more editing. Uh, we do focus um, in part on the main floor in this video, but we also move downstairs and start doing the master suite, and the master suite is even more up in the air. I'm just, everything we do in the master suite at this point is just uh, hypothetical, I guess. We have nothing like for certain downstairs upstairs. Yeah. There's a lot of things that I like that will probably stay the living area, like the seating area at the beginning or at the, rather at the end of this episode is going to stay. Um, the basic floor plan for the main floor is going to stay, but there's a lot of things that are going to change. Most of it being the downstairs. Yeah, so here we are just, like, moving things around. Um, like I said, there's a Create a Sim episode for it, and I just finished recording it and doing all the audio for it, so I will be uploading that at the same time. I know I've said that, like, three times now, <laughs> but it will be up with this video. So if you're watching this one, hopefully that you'll have the Create a Sim to watch, too. And, yeah, I'm dropping all of that random stuff that was in the hallway in the white building, which is going to be, the I think, the bedroom for Chloe, She's the uh, the sister in the creative family. So, yeah, <laughs> I was like grabbing things that I thought would fit her style and tossing them in that building. And yeah, here I decide that this space, instead of it being just this huge oversized entryway, I think this space would be much more suited as an office. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn that space into an office slash laundry and it gets like switched around and we change it a little bit just because the proportions right now are weird but yeah we end up turning that into an office or at least starting to turn it into an office and yeah just like I don't really know what would work on the walls in an office I get tired of just doing like plain colors I mean I know that's how most people's houses are just standard paint colors on a wall, but I just wanted to do something unique for the office, something really cool, something that fits Marietta's style. That's the mother for the, the family. And yeah, so yeah, here we move downstairs after just a couple minutes of doing the upstairs and just kind of like get walls down in the right area, how I want to divide the downstairs. It's just it's tricky because there are there are a lot of things dividing the space. There are the doors that lead outside. There are the many window frames. So, like, connecting that floating wall to the anchor wall 
is like kind of difficult because I can only do it in so many places where the windows meet. I don't know. <laughs> it's just not the easiest space down here. So it's going to take us probably a little longer than normal to like get a good, I guess, layout for the floor plan down here. It's just given me a little bit of trouble, but at the end of this video, we have a good like base for me to come in later and start adding more stuff and making it a little bit better. The one thing I do like about the master suite that we have so far is the color scheme. We end up going with like a robin's egg blue and uh, like a bright hot pink and gray. Um, like it's not necessarily hot pink. It's like that bright red pink shade. I don't know. You'll see it later. It ends up looking pretty cool. I It looks really modern, and that's kind of what I was shooting for. Or it's what I'm shooting for for the whole build, really, but specifically for the downstairs bedroom down here. And if you have any recommendations, I would be thrilled to get recommendations for the downstairs because it's such a weird space, and I'm trying to use it adequately, but it's just not the easiest shape to design in. So, I don't know. If you have any sort of recommendations for the downstairs area, just make sure to leave them below because I could really use recommendations for this area in particular. And, yeah, at this point, we're just kind of sampling things that I want down here. I have a bunch of different water features and stuff. I want to make it very, like, tranquil down here and very, like, watery because there's the pool, the ocean, and then the, like, pool that surrounds the whole downstairs. So there's like a lot of different water sources. There's going to be a bathroom down here. I just want it to be very like aquatic downstairs. So I may have to actually come in and I don't know, adjust the color scheme maybe just a little bit, but for the moment I really like what we have. And yeah, that's where we focus this episode. I would think that probably next episode, episode eight, we'll finish the master suite. And I'm trying to like get an idea for how many more episodes are in this series because as I'm recording this, this is episode seven and this is as long as my longest series. So this is going to be the longest one I've done so far, which is awesome. It's the most extensive build I've done so far online. So, I mean, I'm excited for it. I just, <laughs> it's just taken up a lot of time and I wanted recommendations, I guess, for like what other series you would like to see because I'm not necessarily feeling doing this whole series start to finish. I would like to do like a good chunk of it, like through episode seven maybe, and then start something else. But I don't know. I don't really have any ideas right at this moment for anything. A few people had recommended maybe an apartment complex or something of that nature. And that'd be cool. I've only ever done a couple apartment complexes, so it'd be cool to build one. But yeah, again, down below, comments, <laughs> leave recommendations. So yeah, and we are just like dividing the master suite right now, trying to find a good place for the bed. I want, the thing about like a bedroom on the beach like this is that there's no reason that from your bed, you shouldn't have a view of the ocean. You know what I mean? Like you absolutely should. But this downstairs master suite just is not working out that way. I feel like I should put the bed close to the doors right there, but I just, I don't know, that would give me the great view over the ocean, right? But it, I don't know, just seems odd. So I'm just playing around with different, like, layouts for the downstairs right now. Honestly, we're struggling a little bit, but I'm not really taking it too seriously because, I don't know, whatever, this is going to be a crazy long series anyway. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, this is going to be the office here. If that were, like, a better, like, size, if it were, like, four wide or six wide, I could, like appropriately put that supernatural French door, which is very suited for an office, but it's not. So <laughs> we just end up using either archways or we just knock out part of the wall. And yeah, so I think that we come in here in a moment and knock out some of the stuff that we're doing down here, specifically that like outdoor or that like closet space out where the linoleum is. It's just not the best. <laughs> and yeah, we're playing around with the idea of maybe like sectioning the master suite off like that, because that gives you a little bit more privacy. Yeah. When you're like, have the wall 
that like divides the corridor from the master suite, but it's just turning out really blocky and just like straight walls. And I don't know. So we just come in and we're just not happy yet with the design. So if that's annoying too, sorry, <laughs> but I take forever to do designs sometimes, like especially down here in the master suite, it's like the master bedroom for the like nicest part of the house. So I really want it to reflect that. I want it to really be just like a really beautiful master bedroom. So that's what we're doing. That's why we're taking so much time. <laughs> And yeah, so we are just, again, playing around with different floor plans. I think that's the one that we keep through the end of the video. It makes the most sense. It's the best use of space. So that's probably the one that we're going to keep. But I just need to find out what to put over there where that sectional is. Because I, I don't know. I like what we have, but it doesn't seem like the most appropriate use of space in that corner. So I don't know. I think it'd be a little bit better. And this is like the swatch that we're, this like color palette rather that we're running with. I just throw down some swatches on the floor and we start coloring stuff, these colors to match this room. I just really don't think that, that green suits that pink super well or that bright red very well. So we come in and we adjust the color palette to be blue instead of green. And it just looks a million times better. That like pastel green color with that hot pink, that hot red pink color, just oh, it reminded me of Easter, and I can't stand that. <laughs> so we totally had to change it. And yeah, I originally think that the brown with those two colors might be like a good match, but we end up switching it, like I said, to like a light blue instead of that green color and then a couple shades of gray instead of brown and I think it's a little bit more of a modern color scheme it looks more calming to me so I don't know that's what we run with and yeah that color scheme with the blue instead of green is just worlds better I don't know I was trying to be a little bit experimental and use colors that I don't necessarily always use together but uh, didn't work. <laughs> and yeah, so that's the color scheme. It's a thousand percent better. And I think I like it down here, especially with it being very aquatic downstairs. I like using the blue and the gray, but we may come in and reassess and not use that hot pink. Now that I'm like looking at it again, I just, I don't know. I like the color combination. I just don't know if it's so like appropriate for this room specifically. But we'll come in in episode 8 and do a little bit of adjusting. So yeah, and yeah, I think that this series will probably be, episode 8 definitely will be the, the like, conclusion of the Master Suite. And then I'm thinking it'll probably take me three to four more episodes to do the rest of the house. Probably one episode for each building of the rest of the house at least. Probably two, maybe three for the main building. So I'm expecting this to run anywhere between, like, Probably 11 and 14 episodes, which puts me at, like, a lot of hours. <laughs> when these episodes are 20 minutes long, it's about two hours of gameplay. So, <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely a lot of time to do this island. But I wanted to do something really extensive. I wanted to get, like, stuck into it because... Some people had said that the houses that I built were great, but they weren't that big and that they would like to see something a little bit more extensive. So this is this is the extensive build. <laughs> and yeah, just like tossing in different pieces of furniture, seeing how they like play with the color scheme and whatever. And then I get a little bit bored with the downstairs and we say forget it and come back and do more upstairs. because That's what I was really interested in doing this episode. And yeah. I go ahead and divide the space so that the office is closer to the front door, but we can still like mirror the two square wide opening where the stairs are, but across the hallway, if that makes sense. It's just like symmetrical. It's pleasing to the eye to do things like that. So I wanted to keep it yeah, just like that. And that's going to be the office for Marietta. It's obviously like not finished at all, but we'll come back in and do that a little bit more later. And yeah, so this is where the kitchen really starts to take shape and start really becoming like a room of its own rather than this unfinished <laughs> area that's just like a tumor on the kitchen. 
So, yeah, I play around with the idea of maybe doing overhead cabinets there. I still kind of like that, just not in green. So we may come back in and try something like that. But if the kitchen's going to be mainly, well, really, yeah, just across that one wall, I really needed to add everything and just make it like a full-featured kitchen across those, like, 8 to 10 tiles on that wall. And it sounds easy, but making it symmetrical with the lime green bench, which is asymmetrical to the room, was not great. Like, it was kind of difficult to get the proportions right in this room. So it, like, because I could easily just throw in a ton of shelves, a ton of cabinets, and make it look like this huge grand kitchen. But it's not, this, like, space isn't that big. So, like, getting it proportionate to the living space, I guess, was my task here. And I think it ends up pretty successful. I really like the main living space here. It turns out really bright, really modern, and that's really what we were going for, was just bright and modern. And yeah, just playing around with more, like, <laughs> just experimental things for the kitchen, I guess. I kind of like how that looks with that big, long bench at the end, but... It just looks like too much. I zoom out in a minute and I look and it's just like there's no empty space in the room. It's just filled with stuff. So I come back in and I make the kitchen a little bit more simple. We keep the white cabinets and I think we keep the green bench. I, <laughs> I had gotten some mixed reviews on the bench, the lime green. But I think now with the changes we've made, it really allows the lime green bench to just be the focal point in the kitchen. And yeah, leave your recommendations below what you think about the kitchen. So far, it's the best I think it's been, but I'm still open to recommendations. I really want to try something unique, something different, use things I don't necessarily use in the kitchen because, I don't know, my kitchens can kind of, I guess, start to look the same. I can fall into old habits easily, so I'd like to try something new with this one. And yeah, so here we are doing, one of the requests I got was to try big tiles with the wood texture from the exterior, that like orange wood color. And I tried it on a couple different tiles and a couple different shapes and some with like uh, actual paint on the wall. Some are just full tile and I just don't like it. <laughs> That's my conclusion. I tried a lot of different varieties and I just don't like it. So yeah, I think we're going to come back in and do some sort of tile but I think we're just going to try to keep it really simple in the kitchen, really clean and white in the kitchen. And yeah, so here we are, like, again, just sampling these, like, wood textures and stuff, trying to add them to the, the counters and stuff, just to see if I want to pull in this wood texture throughout the whole kitchen, or if I want to keep it this, like, really clean, like, white and lime green color scheme. I do believe we keep the wood texture through the end of the video, but like I said, I don't think we're probably going to keep it. I think we'll come back in and do mostly white and lime green. If I feel inspired to do like something really innovative and something like try something really new that I haven't done before, then I'll come back in and try that. But for now, I think that we are probably just going to do the white and lime green in the kitchen. Uh, yeah, but as always, if you have recommendations, you can feel free to leave them in the comments below. I mean, I read everyone's comments. I try to respond to most of them, but uh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate everyone's comments that they leave, and especially if you leave recommendations, and I almost always at least try them out. It might not make the cut. It might not be in the video, like in the design, but I try out almost every recommendation I get. And yeah, so this is like nearing the end of the video. We do basically this for the rest of the video, just sampling textures, trying this orange wood throughout the rest of the kitchen in kind of innovative ways. And that wallpaper is what we end up sticking with. I end up, yeah, making it like that wood on the bottom. And I don't know, it looks good, and it looks like a little addition to the top of the counter. Like, you see that in homes sometimes where the counter will extend vertically, like, two or three inches at the end of the counter on the backsplash. I'm sure it has a technical name. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, you see that pretty frequently in homes, so I thought it was something I could try to mimic with that wallpaper. 
And I think it looks nice, but like I said, we will most likely come back in and edit out the wood in the kitchen. Unless I get a lot of people saying they liked it, I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, so just there, yeah, that's the texture that we like keep. The white on top and then the wood on bottom. And I think it is... I don't know. It looks okay. I just think it doesn't it doesn't look 3D. It just looks flat. So we're going to come in and give that a quick change. And you know what guys, there's about a minute left in the video. So enjoy what we do for the rest of the video. It's just like minor stuff in the living room. We end up knocking out those cup chairs and putting in a gray sectional, the into the future sectional. It's like more compact and adds more seating. So that is what we end up doing in the living space. And all right, guys, I will have the creative sim episode up hopefully at the same time as this video. And I will have episode eight up in about 24 hours after this one goes live. All right. Thanks. Take care, guys.